Welcome to The Bible Guy and your devotional series on the Gospel of Mark. Today we've reached Mark chapter 7. What I'm going to say today is watch out for our traditions. Watch out for traditions. Uh, we're going to see this now with the Pharisees in Mark chapter 7. And just starting in verse 1. Said the Pharisees and some teachers of the law who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus and saw some of his disciples eating food with hands that were defiled, that is, unwashed. Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they give their hands a ceremonial washing, holding to the tradition of the elders. When they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash. And they observe many other traditions, such as the washing of cups, pitchers, and kettles. So the Pharisees and teachers of the law asked Jesus, Why don't your disciples live according to the tradition of the elders, instead of eating their food with defiled hands? He replied, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you hypocrites. As it is written, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are but rules taught by men or as it says here, merely human rules. You have let go of the commands of God and are holding on to human traditions. A very damning indictment of the Pharisees here where Jesus quotes Isaiah. Um, and you'll see there Isaiah chapter um, 29. It says, you've honored me with your lips, your hearts are far from me. So watch out for traditions. So we see with the Pharisees here, it was about washing the hands before the the ate. And it wasn't about cleanliness. It talks there, it was their ceremonial laws. It was their traditions that they had. There are many other traditions just like this where they wash all their implements. And it's not the washing to make it clean. It's pretty clear from the Pharisees. This is a set of traditions and observances that needed to be met. But it wasn't about the sake of cleanliness. And this was then they condemned Jesus and his followers because they didn't hold to these traditions. So they were following traditions, and that's what Jesus was condemning them for, is you're simply following traditions. Now, question is, is, uh, is the tradition a problem in itself? So is following a tradition, is that what I'm saying? Watch out for traditions. Is tradi- are traditions bad necessarily? Well, the obvious answer to that really is no. Traditions can be very useful things. Traditions that we have in our families, in our own lives, can be good things. Religious traditions can also be good things. So it's not necessarily that the tradition is bad. What I think I see in Mark 7 here, the tradition is a problem where the tradition is elevated. Elevating elevating the tradition is what causes the problem. Elevating it to the status of a command of God in your own mind is what ends up causing the problem. Or it becomes what you follow as opposed to God's command. So you've either elevated the status of a command of God or you follow it like it is one, it's more important to you potentially, although people would not always admit that. Elevating the um, tradition then, well, you see that with the Pharisees here in a couple of a couple of ways. You know you've elevated a tradition, the Pharisees here, whenever you judge other people for not keeping them. So even though they're only a man-made tradition that's not directly implemented by scripture that you follow these observances, when other people don't follow them, you condemn them for not following them. And that's the sign you've elevated a tradition because it's not a command of God, but a tradition of man. The next thing then with the Pharisees here that Jesus goes on to describe from verse 9 onwards, he said that you are supposed to honor your father and mother, but you say to your father and mother when you do honor them, this is, I'm only doing this because of God. You actually then don't honor them. And you call it Corbin, a gift devoted to God. I'm only going to do this for you because I'm doing it for God. But Jesus says, that's not actually honoring your father and mother. You're to honor them for who they are, not just because of me. So it's the purity of God's commands that they're not just done for God's sake per se, but these commands are pure in themselves because they are to be done for the respect of the person and not just because you're conscious of God. So I actually really love that description there in verse 9. But God's commands are pure in themselves, but they had elevated the traditions and then nullified God's command. So God's command, only your father and mother, because of their traditions, they had actually kept the traditions and in, in doing that had nullified God's command to honor the father and mother. So God's command, the traditions were elevated, they condemned other people for not keeping them, and the traditions were so elevated that they were elevated above God's commands. And this is what we see going on here. So the question for us then, and I ask myself is, have we elevated traditions too high? Have I elevated traditions? I know in my previous church that I went to, it 
a lot of it was lip service. We were saying rope prayers all the time, st stating certain oaths and things you're going to do, but you never kept them. The heart was not there at all. And around me, that's all I could ever see. It was just lip service. I knew myself at that time, I'm worshiping in vain here. But a good question to ask yourself is, do I follow any traditions that I've made up myself and expect other people to keep them, or do I elevate them above God's commands? Good question to ask yourself with traditions then is, well, how is my heart? Because that's really what matters here. If two people can do the same action. One person's heart is right, and the other person's heart is wrong. Cain and Abel, the sacrifice in, in, that we see in Genesis. But the question I have then is, that also with the Pharisees here, well, first of all, how is our heart? The second thing is, what is, how is our obedience to God's will? Because that's what matters. We can not let go of God's commands because that was what they had done and follow traditions. How is our obedience to God's will, God's commands? It's something that is important to ask yourself. How am I doing at just following what God's asked rather than the man-made rules that I've made up or other people have made up? What are we like in dealing with our sin? Confessing our sin, repenting of the sin that's in our life, being honest about the sin that's in our life. What about being loving and patient towards people, being able and ready and willing to say, sorry, I had to say it myself this weekend and maybe most weekends. What's the, how is our purity in our life? How, how is our purity? We all know ourselves what it's like. How are we doing with purity and obeying the commands of God? What are we like as Christians that seeking and saving the lost, wanting to speak up to try and bring people into a relationship with God? You know, how do we do with that? We know it's a command of Scripture. Um, what about meeting together with the body, with 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 um, bearing with one another, loving one another, spurring one another on? So these are all the commands of God. How are we doing with the commands of God, which are obviously to be above the traditions that are in our on our lives? Yesterday I was singing songs in church. And I realized I was singing the words to some of the songs and I didn't even think about what I was singing. My heart wasn't there. I was thinking about how I sounded. I was thinking about how enthusiastic I was. I was thinking about how I looked. Um, I was thinking about stuff going on at home. Now I'm not saying to me God was going to strike me with lightning and wrath at that moment, but it's important for me to recognize that. I realized later on, I didn't think about them words. I actually genuinely did not think about God when I sung that whole song. And I thought, that, that's, that's just tradition. I'm, I'm standing and mouthing these words, singing this song, being seen to sing this song, because I don't want to stand there and not sing. But that's just tradition for me. I, my heart was not there. So it's important for me to look at myself today, not to beat myself up. It's maybe only one song. But sometimes our life can take that trajectory where traditions have become so important. How things appear on the outside has become so important that the commands of God, our heart towards God, it has softened, hardened, should I say. How can we avoid this? How can we avoid elevating traditions more than they should be? It's all about the heart. Here's the thing, seeking God, who seeks God. For me, it's all about the person who's seeking God. We seek God at the start because he sought us and we continue to do that throughout our Christian lives. Are we still got the heart that seeks after God? In Psalm 14, verse 2 Love this um, very short scripture here. It says, The Lord looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. I think this is what it's all about. It's the heart to seek after God, to listen to him, listen to his word, to read his word, to speak to him, to talk to him, to pray to him about everything that's going on, to spend time with God, to look forward and enjoy spending time with God, to worship him, to enjoy praising and worship him. And I'm not saying every day will be like this, but most days, if we want to make sure we're not just following traditions, that we are actually seeking after God more than anything else. And for me, that's the key. When I go to church on Sunday morning and I sing the songs, I get into the order of the worship and I lead the worship. And Am I actually engaged here? Or am I just following the tradition of two songs? You sing these words, then you do this, then you do that. Where is our heart? And this is the question I ask myself. It's critical we ask ourselves this important this question so that we can watch out for elevating traditions more than they should be, just like the Pharisees did here. So pray that's helped us today. If it did, please um, hit the like button. Uh, please share this on for other people. Please subscribe to that Bible guy and let's get his word out there.